What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a very interesting Liverpool transfer news video. In this video we will take a look at the Spain exciting winger Inaki Williams who has been linked with Liverpool by ESPN and also we will take a look at what the Liverpool owner John Henry said about Liverpool and their progress so far and also what Liverpool the other owner Tom Werner said about Liverpool as well and lots of brand new information coming to you guys about the Champions League final and what Liverpool players and Tottenham players and even former Liverpool players said about the Champions League final. So you guys, if you enjoy these types of videos, leave a like, it takes a second and it really helps me out. And let me know, do you think Inaki Williams would be a good fit for Liverpool? He's 24 years old and every time I watch Athletic Bilbao, this guy is a star. He is electric, he has lightning quick pace and a very very good dribbling ability and he can score, he has an eye for goal as well. This has been his best goal, goal scoring season so far in his career, scoring 14 goals in 41 games for Athletic Bilbao and he is already an experienced player, he's 24 years old and basically he has played in the professionally all his life at Athletic Bilbao and he could be available for a very big transfer fee but according to ESPN Liverpool are considering a move for him because he would really fit in at Liverpool this is the kind of player that Liverpool want and need somebody who can replace Mane or Salah like for like he is exactly the kind of player that I think um, you know could replace Mane when Mane is not fit or he is not ready to play or if he needs the rest and same goes with Salah. The problem is that Inaki Williams signed a very very big contract renewal with Athletic Bilbao in January of 2018, so one and a half years um, for, before and I as the Spanish newspaper reports that that includes a release clause of 80 million which uh, could rise to a potential 108 million euros and that is about a 70 million pound deal or, or maybe 65 million pound deal and there is competition for Inaki Williams, Atletico Madrid are also interested and Williams, uh, Inaki Williams is capable of playing on either wing as well as uh, operating as a striker, as a centre forward and his versatility certainly fits the Jurgen Klopp style of play there because Mane, Salah can play up front and on either side um, of Firmino and uh, Vinaki Williams has a very fluid attacking mentality and as I have said already he has big pace he is such a fast player such a quick player and I when I watched Athletic Bilbao he was always the player that I was looking forward to seeing the most because he just excites you he just gets uh, you on the edge of your seat because almost every time when he gets the ball he takes on defenders just like Salah just like Mane and I love and absolutely love those kind of wingers and I, I uh, am uh, those kind of where uh, I am one of those kind of wingers as well when I get the ball uh, playing five-a-side football, I love to take on the defender and try to go past him and score a goal or get an assist. Uh, so that's how I think exciting football should be played. And Athletic Bilbao ended up the campaign in eighth position, just missing out on Europa League football. So I think Athletic Bilbao with a big offer could be tempted because they are not in a financial position to hold on to Inaki Williams for too long. I think Inaki Williams is ready to take the next step. He is, uh, as I said, a player who is from Spain. He was born actually in Bilbao. So it's, it's quite difficult to price him away from his boyhood club. I think that when Inaki Williams was growing up he was supporting Bilbao because in Bilbao, Athletic Bilbao is the biggest club and also he played for the Spanish national team but not many times because he's on the fringes of the Spain team. You know how talented the Spain team is and how many great players they have but Inaki Williams could be in the next generation of great Spain players coming through and Liverpool already had some very good uh, uh, talented players from Spain playing our team, Pepe Reina, Xabi Alonso, just to mention two, quickly comes to my mind. But I think Inaki Williams, is he worth 65 million? That's debatable. In, in the current market, 
you know, you don't really get a great exciting winger who can score goals and who has bags of pace and who has a very good close ball control for less than like 40, 50 million. And if you consider that Liverpool will sell a bunch of their fringe players like Harry Wilson, Gruwich, Mignolet and uh, others in the decline as well, and we could generate as much as 100 million, that's what uh, some uh, Liverpool journalists said, then that uh, 65, 70 million pound transfer fee doesn't seem that much, to be honest. But it's ultimately Jurgen Klopp's uh, decision and I fully trust Jurgen Klopp and uh, the owners, uh, the Liverpool scouts as well, to make that decision whether we go for Inaki Williams or not. And um, talking about the Liverpool owner, John W. Henry said that Jurgen Klopp is a perfect match for Liverpool. And uh, the owner, who is a Fanway sports group, took charge of Liverpool in 2010, deserves a big, big amount of credit to building Liverpool up to now be one of the top five clubs in Europe and one of the strongest and most attractive football clubs in Europe. Because not too long ago, you know, they made, the owners made a lot of bad decisions at Liverpool, but they learned from it. And they are the, also the owners of the Boston Red Sox who won the World Series, uh, that's like uh, the MLB, I think, of, uh, of uh, you know, the, the top, uh, top league in uh, baseball and they, they became champions as well in that. So let's hope that Liverpool can follow suit and we can win the Champions League this year. And I'm really, really excited about it and let's hear what the owner John W. Henry said about Liverpool and about Jurgen Klopp. So he was asked, the Liverpool owner was asked, how pleased is he about the Liverpool's decision to appoint Jurgen Klopp uh, as a manager like four years ago? And he, he said he made the right choice as well, Klopp. It was a perfect match for his personality, his persona and the kind of football he wants to play. The players that we have acquired and signed over the last couple of years have also been a perfect match. We are going to have a go uh, and we will feel like we are strong already but we will try to overcome Manchester City who uh, the owner, Liverpool owner described as an unstoppable force uh, in this Premier League campaign uh, and they have been unstoppable Manchester City winning 14 games in a row so you can kind of call them that sadly and this is what also the owner said and I quote we haven't gone through that process yet because we are still playing but every year we have shown that we are willing to invest in the right kind of players and do it the right way so that Liverpool FC is sustainable and he was asked, does, does he have a message for the Liverpool players? He said, I don't have a message for the players. They know what they are doing. They get that from Jurgen. If I have a message, it is for the fans. When I think of how special Anfield is and how special Liverpool is, everywhere around the world, everyone is talking about Liverpool. It is because of the fan base. Similar to the Boston Red Sox, we have such an incredible fan base, such a, a literate and passionate fan base, that when you watch what goes on at Anfield, it makes you want to root for this club. And Liverpool were motivated by unfinished business, according to the owner, after losing to Real Madrid in Kiev last year, which was extremely painful because of the circumstances, the Salah injury, the way the goalkeeper made the uh, howlers. And this is what also said, the, the owner said, they are different. It doesn't make up for it, but not winning the Premier League this year means it is an even larger goal next year, winning the Premier League. Sort of like going back to the Champions League final this year was something that our team set their minds to. We will be set on winning the league next year. And those are very, very big words by John Henry. And I, I think that's the right kind of mentality. Losing a Premier League title race, you losing a Champions League final, should make you even more hungry, even hungrier next year to try and win that competition. And that's what Liverpool have been uh, this year. We have been extremely hungry in the Champions League and in the Premier League. It is a brilliant season and it would be an almost perfect season if we won the Champions League, but we have to earn the right to win the Champions League. We have to play better than Tottenham and we really need to win this game, whatever it takes, however we can win. We need to do it because this Liverpool team 
really needs to start winning trophies and uh, it can't come soon enough. The first big trophy can't come soon enough for Jurgen Klopp and for this Liverpool team. Tom Werner, who is also kind of a Liverpool uh, owner, he is in the Fanway Sports Group and he said, we will back Michael Edwards in the market and players will jump at the chance to come to Liverpool. And this is what he said. As far as I'm concerned, there's no reason why any elite player wouldn't want to be playing for Liverpool. We have such a strong squad with a strong back office and a manager who I think is one of the greatest managers in world football. So I don't think there is going to be any players who, if they were invited to play for Liverpool, wouldn't jump at the opportunity. John W. Henry, Mike Gordon and I will leave the transfer business to those who know it so well. Jurgen and Sporting Director Michael Edwards. If they recommend someone, then we will support that recommendation. Our role at FSG is to support the manager and the people around him in the best way we, that we possibly can. And Tom Werner also deserves a huge, huge uh, credit for, for this turnaround. He, he is the chairman, basically, of uh, Liverpool. And I'm so, so excited because now Liverpool ha have everything in place. The structure is there. All you need, all Liverpool need to do is keep signing the right kind of players, keep reinvesting the money that we generate through many different revenue streams, the TV deal, the Champions League run, and the way that we finished in the Premier League. Second place will give us a lot of money, like 160 million pounds alone, just for finishing second in the Premier League, and the TV deal that's combined 160 million pounds. We could earn another like 70, 80, 90 million pounds, at least from the Champions League. But if we win it, that could the total Champions League earnings, including the prize money and the TV money from the Champions League, that could also total 100 million pounds. And we have many different sponsorship deals coming in. So Liverpool are well on track to be a self-sustainable club who can really invest every year in making the team better and better. And in the long term, that's the vision for Liverpool. Every year we need to build a squad which are good enough, which is good enough to, to challenge for the Premier League and challenge for the Champions League. And there is no guarantees in football, there is no guarantee that Liverpool will win trophies. But if we build our squad up to be as good as, as, as humanly possible, then we will win trophies because Jurgen Klopp is the right manager who can do that, in my opinion. So I'm very, very excited. And also, Tom Werner said some very, very interesting words about Philip Coutinho. He said this, As far as I'm concerned, then there's no reason why any elite player wouldn't want to be uh, playing for Liverpool. And I would just point to the story of Philip Coutinho. I have only good things to say about Philip. But I think he left Liverpool because he wanted to play for one of the two big Spanish clubs. We tried to convince him that we had a club moving in the right direction and that he could experience big Champions League nights by staying at Liverpool. I think he probably regrets his decision. Maybe after the way that he was treated uh, by the Barcelona fans, maybe Coutinho regrets his decision. But at the time, Liverpool were far away from the team that we are now because remember, that Coutinho left just on the brink when, when Liverpool turned great. And I think part of why Liverpool became so successful under Jurgen Klopp is the Philip Coutinho money. We got, don't forget, we got £146 million pounds for Coutinho and we signed Van Dijk, Alisson and Naby Keita with that money. And that is, I think, huge. That is massive. Those are three players that made a huge difference, especially Alisson and Van Dijk. And, um, and also we signed Shakiri with that money as well. And I think Liverpool probably needed Coutinho to leave in order to become stronger. And I think that uh, in hindsight, it was probably a bad personal decision for Coutinho, but a brilliant decision by Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool to actually allow Coutinho to go to Barcelona for such a big money because he hasn't repaid the transfer fee and Coutinho is not a player who will score you 30-40 goals. He's not a Ronaldo, he's not a Messi. And for 146 million pounds, he's not. I think Coutinho is not even as good as Neymar, for example, or Mbappe. And for 146 million pounds, 
you would expect to sign a player of that caliber who can really like score 20 30 goals easily almost every season and that's not uh, that's not what Coutinho is in my opinion so it's a controversial opinion that Coutinho probably regrets uh, going to Barcelona uh, by Tom Werner but I think there is a merit for that opinion and uh, let me know guys do you think Coutinho regrets his Barcelona transfer we will never find out because I guess until Coutinho leaves and maybe goes to another club he will never publicly admit things like that but Coutinho got, went to Barcelona to, to win trophies and he did he won already two league titles and he won the Copa del Rey last season but this season has been very disappointing for Barcelona that's true they lost the uh, the Spanish Cup final they lost uh, a 3 nil lead in the Champions League semi-finals and Coutinho is also getting booed by the fans so at the moment he's very unhappy uh, but let's talk about Jorginho Vinadum, who says that he wants to start the Champions League final and he would be very disappointed if he didn't start but I think you can say that about almost every player at Liverpool and this is what Wijnaldum said there is no guarantee that you will play but we will see I, will, I was angry not to start against Barcelona in the second leg but I think that is normal it's a bad sign if you are happy to sit on the bench if you come back from an injury and you are coming back step by step but uh, I just want to play as much as possible especially in a game like the final I think everyone would be di disappointed if they don't play I was disappointed but in the end you play as a team and we have a team which supports each other you do your job and you try to help the team win the games and just my comment Wijnaldum came on and put in a, almost a man of the match second half performance scoring two quick goals to really help Liverpool into the Champions League final and I think Wijnaldum will start in the final alongside Fabinho and Henderson probably that's at the moment our best midfield and Milner can come in in the second half maybe to uh, freshen up the midfield but I would start with, with Wijnaldum, Fabinho and Henderson midfield Wijnaldum also said when I came on against Barcelona I gave it my all and then um, we will see what happens and and we went through that's how everyone is thinking about uh, the Champions League final as well you want to give the season something to think back on because it was so beautiful and we did our best to win something during the season we hope we can win the final 97 points is the in the league is a lot but it wasn't enough but we put a lot of effort into our performance a lot of times we were confident and had belief we could make a bad position a good one this is why we want to give this season something special and I agree with Wijnaldum Liverpool need to win the Champions League final to make this season a really special really memorable one because getting to the Champions League final and winning 97 points and ending up without a trophy would be absolute heartbreak for the team for the players for Jurgen Klopp for everyone around Liverpool we just cannot let that happen and I really hope that Liverpool turn up and put in their best performance in the Champions League final and Alisson said interestingly that Loris Karius didn't cost Liverpool the Champions League final last season and uh, I'm not sure if I agree with him so let's listen to what he is about to say I don't think you can put it on one guy's shoulders the team has 11 guys when we win everyone wins when we lose everyone loses it wasn't Karius who lost that match Liverpool did this year we have a new opportunity we know the feeling of making a mistake in a competition as big as the Champions League is something that can stick with you for the rest of your career but in life we always have the chance to make it better I try to stay aware of everything when I do something well I don't get let it get to my head and when I make a mistake I don't let it get to my head either and that's a good point by Alison. it's a, about team spirit and cohesiveness togetherness but if Karius doesn't make those mistakes these mistakes probably Liverpool had a much much better chance to win the Champions League final but Alisson is right in a sense that if Liverpool score one or two goals in the first half when they were well on top even before Salah got injured it would have been a completely different final and we probably relied on, the, on our defense a lot more than we should have been Liverpool last season like they, we were a different team to this season 
we didn't have a great defense so we knew that we probably need two or three goals to score against Real Madrid to win the Champions League final and we only scored one and that's not really enough so even without the curious mistakes Liverpool could have easily won lost that Champions League final so Alisson maybe has a point but yeah let me know what do you think about these in the comments below and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day see you later goodbye